Lady Gaga is coming to the defense of Dylan Mulvaney, a transgender woman and activist who sparked a harsh reaction online after her recent post. Dylan received loads of backlash for posting a photo of herself and Gaga in honor of International Women's Day. Lady Gaga reposted the photo and wrote, it's appalling to me that a post about National Women's Day by Dylan Mulvaney, Mulvaney and me would be met with such vitriol and hatred. I hope all women will come together to honor us all for International Women's Day. And may we do that always until the day that all women are celebrated equally. Al, what are your thoughts on the backlash? That's your Listen, the backlash is it's really ridiculous and it's unwarranted. We know for a fact that the reason why we love Lady Gaga is because she's always been such an advocate and supportive of the LGBTQ plus community. Um, and she says that her success as a charting artist, one of the best in the game right now, is because of the LGBTQ plus community. Remember, she had that, num well, I don't know that it went number one, but it definitely charted. She had that song, Born this way, which was a tribute to individuals in the LBGTQ community. For me, this is on brand for her. Anybody who's attacking her for, for standing up for trans, uh, ab, for trans right, really don't know her, because that's just a part of her. She's always done it, and that's why us in the community love her. Okay, Armand, what are your thoughts? I just think it's unwarranted and unnecessary, because she posted the page, she posted the picture on her page for National Women's Day. And I just think the outrage of people not wanting to accept trans people as being trans women is the problem. At the end of the day, if she wants to identify as a woman and identify lady, identify with Lady Gaga as being a woman on National Women's Day, that's her business on her page. If you don't like trans people, if you don't like transgenderness, you don't have to follow it. You don't have to comment. It's my social media. I, on National Women's Day, I wanted to shout out Lady Gaga and myself as a trans woman and mind your business. I don't understand what the outrage is, and there's so much transphobia in the world. It's unnecessary, and it's unwarranted. Well, we've got a lot of comments that are disagreeing. Uh, our, our dog said, "Leave, let's leave Dylan in 2023. Mm. Epic Jackson said, can't real women have anything in this country? IV1908 said, real women stand up. Venus Babe said, Dylan makes a mockery of real trans women. And Gudoff said, trans women need their own day. Let biological women have their moment. So you would be considered, right, Claudia, uh, by, we're not supposed to say biological, right? Oh. I'm a woman. Okay, you're a woman. Mm -hmm. So what are your thoughts about this? I mean, of course, Lady Gaga definitely has been an ally. I remember seeing Lady Gaga in very small clubs in Hollywood before she mm -hmm. blew up. And the majority of the audience that was there was a trans, the gay and trans community. I totally understand her being in support of of Dylan, and that is definitely on her. But you also know as a celebrity, um, you know, you are definitely free to say whatever you want, but you also, that also comes with people that may not approve. And that's, uh, that's both people have their right. She has her right mm. to support someone that she is in support of. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, people have a right to not agree and it's okay. It doesn't just go one way here. And mm -hmm. I, I, I will say, and I've spoken on this before, there is a it's, a, it's a weird place. It's a contentious time. It's contentious times. And actual women, natural born, cis, whatever you want to call it, women are feeling a way about it feels like a lot of people are playing in our faces with some things, you know? So mm -hmm. I don't think Dylan is like that. I don't think Lady Gaga has any negative intent. But I will say it's a bigger conversation that we simply do not have time for in a five-minute segment here. I've right. long said that it needs to be a, uh, 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 some type of town hall meeting. I was hoping that Fox Soul could host it. When I had my radio show here in Dallas, you know, I made a misstep with what something that I said before. Well, oh, no, no, what? I'm going to call it a misstep. I spoke the way I, 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 I thought. And then I realized I offended some people. So I invited uh, three trans women to my platform and we shared five hours of radio in a top 10 market in a very conservative state. And I pushed back against my, my uh, uh, supervisors because I, it was important to me. I feel like if I'm misunderstanding, I think I'm somewhat of an ally, then imagine the people that have no interactions with the community. So I feel like, you know, we only get there by having these kind of conversations, not avoiding it. But then also when you have these conversations, if you don't answer perfectly, stop crucifying people. If they don't have a perfect response, that is exactly the way you want them to. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Aaron W said, it's not biological women's day. It's women's day. They should have specified. Uh, okay. Hey, listen, this is something that's always going to cause uh, a lot of division because uh, it's a new thing and we're not there yet. 